I love it when worldwide superstars reinvest in their hometown community. Hey, what's going on, buddy? No one personifies worldwide success quite like Armando Christian Perez. Pitbull. And I'm here for a rare one-on-one -on -one chat with this superstar. He's recorded 44 Billboard Hot 100 songs and has reached the number one chart position in 15 countries. He's also sold over 100 million records across the globe. Miami is one of those places that if, you, if you're not from Miami, you don't get it. Correct. It's crazy because it, it works both ways. Like if you've only been in Miami, you think the whole world's Miami. And then you're not from Miami, you don't understand Miami. That's right. And I think that's why they call it the, the magic city. Yeah. Now, where exactly did you grow up? I grew up all over Miami. Okay. Good neighborhoods, bad neighborhoods, worse neighborhoods. Little Havana being one of the first ones. Armando has founded a network of public tuition-free charter schools that integrate a curriculum of sport-related themes with leadership and management skills. It's called SLAM for short. This 100,000 plus square foot facility is located just one mile north of Cayocho. Why do you give back the way you do? For one, when you get to a certain level, I feel that it's not a responsibility, it's an obligation, because I was one of those kids. How many kids are involved in the program here? On this, on this block alone, which you have from K to 12 here, that's your kindergarten right there. Across the street? And then these two buildings, yeah, these two buildings on your middle high, you have close to 3,000 kids on this block. Are you kidding? No, I'm not. And they all go to school for free? And they all go to school for free. This is a public charter school. 97% of the kids in this school are on free lunch. So these are the kids that need it the most. And we grab from every neighborhood around. How much did you have to spend to get this started? Well, this is more than anything. To get this together, it's partners, OK? And between us, it's, it was a hefty fee. It's a very hefty fee. Millions. Millions of dollars, yes. Millions. Yes, sir. Nobody uh, else in Miami has done this. Nobody in Miami has done this. I don't think anybody around the country, to be honest with you. We're going on our 11th slam. You have 11 of these? Pretty much. This complex cost $31 million and took over four years to construct. That money has paid off. Slam High School has a 92% graduation rate, 10 points higher than the state average. One, two, three, slam! <laughs> All right. <laughs> to me, Armando embodies the Cuban-American tradition of making an American dream come true with hard work and a relentless vision. He also embodies the Cuban-American focus on community, paying back to the neighborhood that raised him. Before I leave, Armando's got something personal that he wants to show me. A portrait of him and his father in a bar in Calle Ocho. So that's your dad? Is that you? Yep, that's me as a little kid. This is a bar in Little Havana, so he'd take me from bar to bar. And he'd make me recite Jose Mati poems. This brings back so many memories. And it showed me how powerful words were, because when I spoke about freedom to Los Marielitos that had just come into Miami from Cuba to the United States, man, that bar would erupt. So I'd say, hmm, it's the first time I felt like, wow, you could really motivate and inspire people through words. I thank my father for taking me to those bars. <laughs> Meaning that your mom wanted you to send good messages. Yes. I carry them in my wallet with me. So there goes my, my father, my mother, that's me as a baby. Can I, can I look at it? Yeah, Is that okay? of course. Makes me smile. And then that's something that my mother wrote me when I was that was March 5th, 2018. Can you read that to me? Yeah. I can't read it. She said, I've been thinking about how two lost souls from Miami, H Street, produced a winner like you. And it hit me. It hit me. We both knew we did not have a chance in hell of ever making anything remarkable out of ourselves. Two Cuban immigrants carrying around so much baggage and so much pain. So we took all of our dreams and gave them to our only hope of ever doing something spectacular. And you, you made it all happen. You made us important by being a superstar. You gave us a reason for living. <laughs> what you've done is bigger than all of that. And Thank I you. hope your contribution to this city, to this street, to this area. Thank you. It means a lot, man. What is it about this street where people won't leave? What is it about this street where they, they put their roots in the ground and they remember where they came from? When I think about a guy like Pitbull, who walked these streets as a kid and now is an international sensation, 
who's now continuing to invest in this community, continuing to educate those young kids. It's proof that when you're born here and you're made here, you stay here. And I don't know that that's necessarily the case everywhere, but it definitely is the case here. Oye, Colorado!